Hey guys, welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space College Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the Rock Full of Braids, a cluster of asteroids out in the wilds of space where we have just taken control of this swampy ore field with the magic of the rockets. And today we are going to pick up a brand new long-term adventure. We are offloading all of the materials over here that we picked up from the swampy ore field. And my long-term adventure today is to try and find some poke shells from the swampy ore, ore field over here you can see that we are getting a whole ton of polluted dirt 70 percent of the of the haul that we were re we've returned with is going to be polluted dirt and i'd really like to go and feed that to what i call the anger crabs the poke shells the problem with that is we can only find them in oh, i did want to in fact be there in what are called ocean biomes and if i come through and have a look at all the asteroids that i've got access to here you will notice that one of the things that i do not have access to is the ocean biome so we're definitely gonna have to be flying out in a rocket exploring around and seeing if we can find out what any of these things are but I've also noticed that this rock right here looks very nice very very nice indeed cobalt volcano gold volcano aluminium volcano serious serious source of serious metals so I feel like what I'm gonna do is um, grab another one of these rocket platforms and we're gonna start building a secondary rocket a rocket that is gonna go to that particular asteroid over there let's get a name black blagola I'm gonna go with blagola a metal rich asteroid magma channels might be a little bit awkward but I'm not going to be sending a duplicate over to begin with no if we come to this and uh, go hey can we add a new module I'm not going to be adding a new module to this particular craft but one of the things I've got is the rover module and this comes with its own little robot inside I think if I send two of them the lander can that they land in has enough materials inside it to build another rocket platform and that that's the dream right there. I did see this on someone else's video, so I, maybe they did something that I didn't know about, but sending two, two rovers over to a new asteroid will always be good anyway. We can lay down the foundations for sending another duplicate, and if they can't do it, then I will send the Trailblazer module, which will land a duplicate down for us. I might just send the trailblazer modules anyway. <laughs> I don't I don't know. In fact, you know what? Let's go over to reverse Lynn. I feel like it's time that we Ah oh yes, beautiful. The arches are ready. Chose ourselves a new a duplicate. Digging suit wear and curative rocketry is what I'm looking for. Ideally, he would also have uh, some research skills, but I don't think I'm gonna look a gift horse in the mouse. We're gonna have Quinn or actually. We're going to go with Goddard, the granddaddy of a rocketry, uh, pioneered liquid rockets, would you believe? Uh, we're not going to actually leave you here. I mean, we, we could leave you here, but we're, we're not going to do that. We're going to send you over to Pyaxlin, because uh, honestly, that's where all the food is. <laughs> Oh, this, this guy's very slow. Of course he is. He's got uh, very few stats. Let's have a look and see what we've got in the bio here. Uh, things to watch out for. Plant murderer. Very bad at the agriculture. Binge eater. That could be a problem. Let's teleport them over. Goddard, thank you very much. Where do we see the skills? There we go. Uh, piloting four, construction three, minus agriculture, and athletics are good. The athletics being good is great. Well, hello Goddard, how are you doing? You know what, I feel like we need a little portable printing pod over here. It's it's something that we don't have, mini printing pod. Uh, we could just slap it down here. I'm gonna do it, there we go, bam, there, there, there it is. I don't think it needs power, I think this is just fine as it is. Are we gonna dig out these two bits over here or is this gonna be just fine? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see when I believe Curie comes along, but she's got other things to do. Ah, rocket pad in place. We're gonna have a new rocket, thank you very much. It's gonna be a steam engine rocket, of course. Uh, can we make it out of lead? This feels like a bad idea. Lead melts at a very, very low temperature. I made this one out of, you know what, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> Let's. Let's actually new rocket. Let, let, let's use the last of my steel to build that rocket. Uh, I'm also going to need the, the battery module, of course. Now, th this basic setup that I've got here, the battery and solar panel, are going to have to go in place. Uh, I don't have enough glass, but we can definitely go and get that sent over and make the battery there. Uh, the way that I'm going to be sending the materials over, of course, is this conveyor loader. Uh, I'm going to click glass. We've got a lot of glass being made. Here it is over here, being dumped down. It's currently at 100, uh, 200 degrees see hopefully taking it through this area here will cool it down 
What's the temperature overlays like? No, we're doing okay. There is a bit of temperature leaking out this way, but we have a good cooling system in the background keeping it very, very uh, temperate over here. Okay, steam engine in place. One of the first things I need to do, of course, no, not like that, is to take new insulated tiles up to the engine. Uh, that, that needs to be a thing. I also need to sort out where we're going to take all of these materials in the end. At the moment, we are just dumping the polluted oxygen on the floor, and uh, because we're in a vacuum, all of the polluted oxygen sorry the, the polluted dirt is outgassing polluted oxygen and all the polluted oxygen that is being outgassed is just kind of disappearing so we're not reaching any sort of equilibrium point we're going to be losing a lot of polluted oxygen as time goes on i'm not sure that i mean i'm going to make a ranch over here for the for the poke shells maybe we can move the battery up above yeah we'll, we'll make we'll make a, a nice little system somehow of course, the reason that we are after poke shells is because to turn iron into steel, you need lime, and you can turn the crabs' shells that they molt when they grow from a teen, from a, a small, small to a big. Uh, they make they drop a five kilogram shell then, and then when they die, they drop a ten kilogram shell, and all of those can be ground up in the rock crusher uh, to make lime. Why are these not being done? There's there's stuff around. Maybe we should have left Goddard here for a little bit. So as everyone gets ready to build the rocket over on Pyaxlin, here on Reverselin, I'm going to start ripping down people's bedrooms, well, the, the barracks that we have here, because I want to make an actual bedroom for everyone. Apart from we need plastic. Wait, I, I, I can make this happen very quickly. Plastic is something that we have vast amounts of. If I just come down to this conveyor loader here, I'm going to just... Oh, is there a way of copying these settings and then putting them back? Okay, we can save the settings by building a dummy conveyor loader over here. Copy settings, pop that down. Beautiful. Then we've got all of that there. I can then just clear this, safe in the knowledge that I can put it back on later. And then I can go plastic as much as people can carry, please. Uh, there should be a whole list of errands here. I suppose Maxwell and Franklin are carrying the full inventory's worth as it goes. So I'm just going to put that then on a nine and let that get sent through. All right, beautiful. Okay, that was about a ton of plastic all in all. Okay, copy these settings, put them back. Beautiful. Ah, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Pro problem fixed at some point. I just want to point out this little plant here. It's my favourite plant on the entire like double map that we've got so far. If, when we end up making a petroleum boiler based on this minor volcano and all the oil reservoirs around, I'm definitely going to try and save this little, po little portion of blocks and, uh, and flour here. Anyway, all of this was in aim of being able to put down a comfy bed, a flower pot. I'm going to have to rip this one up, rip this bed up, put down a door here. So I'm going to have to break this one. And that will then make a bedroom. When If I, if I could put a little bit of separation between here and then I could put another bedroom down for boar. We've got one for Rutherford, one for boar. And maybe we'll even be able to support for another duplicate. That would be good. We could definitely use an operating duplicate here. Okay, we spent most of the day at full... Ah, oh, I can't put plants in these. All right, we're going to have to take out some crown molding here. But I spent most of the day at full panic, else the uh, Rutherford and Boar wouldn't actually get round to doing any of the building here. You can see that I've allowed for an extra person. Let's actually move... Who, who's in this one at the moment? Uh, uh, Rutherford. Let's move... Actually, let's move Boar so they're both closer to the door. That might be a, a good idea. You might think that the choice of metal tiles was a bit weird, but the decor, 18... Uh, uh, it turns out that metal tiles have a huge decor bonus. So I went with that. I would have put a whole bunch of carpet tiles down as well, but we don't have any thimble reed on this planet, and I can't be bothered to try and send a whole bunch over. Back on Pyaxon, I can see that the cargo bay is empty from our drill machine. Now, I do want to send this off on a big adventure, but it's not the big adventure that you think it's going to be. We're not going drilling. Oh, no, I think we're going to send our craft... Uh, uh, this... This hex, one of these two hexes here, should be able to get all of these unknown objects. And maybe one of these has an ocean on it. Oh yeah, let's let's also put some uh, some solar panels in place. Uh, what else do we need to make sure we've got? We need a gas cargo can. Uh, well, do we? Do we really? Because as far as I'm aware, we're not sending a duplicate at the moment. So let's send a rover module. Yeah, we can send cobalt. Why not? We've just been picking it up. I'm going to want to send two of those. Now, do I just want to send the solo space uh, fairer uh, nose cone, or do we spend the 
full space fair. I think we're going to go for the full one. Let, let's do that. Beautiful. Have I eaten all, almost through all of my cobalt ore already? No, I mean, there's a fair amount. There's only 200 available left. I wonder if I'm sending it somewhere. Hmm. Or did I just use it? Is this an entire cobalt rocket here? Is, is, is that actually what's happened? That might be. Look, look, five, two, so there's seven, nine. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's, that's about right. The bedroom project seems to have worked out quite well. I've asked for all of the doors to be opened up so they don't need to waste time running in and out. If I have a look at the room overlay here, you can see the bedroom getting two morale from each, meeting all the requirements there. Barracks only gave one, bedroom gives two. That's double the morale bonus right there. That's beautiful. Hopefully able to keep these guys much happier. In a little bit of time, 0.4 cycles, we'll be picking a new operator, if we can actually get a new operator. But over on Pyaxlin, we are hoping that at some point people are going to be moving food back into Planck's refrigerator over here. Hopefully we haven't got too much carbon dioxide on the floor. Now I think we could probably even put in a pump here and get rid of some of that gas while we wait for the place to settle out. But I've also been building, we're very nearly there, the second rocket to go. If I come into the skills and be like, hey there uh, Goddard, how are you doing? Let's give you the rocket pilot thing. Look at that, straight away. Look how much morale he's got just from hanging out on Pyaxlin. If I, if I could get all the way to rocketry 2 that would be good. I also believe this advanced research astronomy, bomb -bom, that we need for the rocketry 2 gives me the ability to process the data. Like, uh, not process it, create the data. This orbital collection. Maybe I've got it the wrong way around. Maybe it is actually processing the data, but uh, that, that, that would that'd be good. That would be something to check out. In fact, if we come through, change the crew Goddard, and then this one, change crew part. Yeah, but beautiful, beautiful. That We're ready to go. Ah, oh, we need to wait. Gases. <laughs> Well, this is a bit of a, a spaghetti mess here, but the way to think about it is the insulated pipe is for my steam, and then the white pipe, which basically just comes through, checks that it is oxygen, dumps the oxygen in the tank if we have overflow, and then dumps it into the rocket um, for, for breathing. <laughs> so we, we want to set up something very similar. I think here is the place we're going to do it from maybe jump over no not 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 quite like that we're gonna jump over this with a bridge and make our way over here somehow mm, I, I wish i'd been able to turn it around oh you know what else i'm wait 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 a minute i am missing some stuff this, this is this is the old school way of doing it that, what what am i doing i just totally went on autopilot there we actually need to get this pipe over to here. And of course that means we are missing a gas canister. Is that the smallest one? Is, is, can, we, can we do a smaller one? No, we can do a larger one. Okay, that must be fine now. Ooh, and up it goes. Great. We're gonna need another ladder. Look, look at that, right there. Oh, a mini pod was, uh, was built. Beautiful. I've asked for someone to come and activate it. Who's gonna do so? so someone at some point. I don't even have any priority settings, so I can't turn that up and down. How about in here? Ooh, we, we do have priority settings. Let's, uh, let's get someone over pretty quick. Okay, here comes Curie. Let, let's see what we got going here. We got a lever being switched and then we're just watching that happen. I don't know if anything specific is supposed to happen here. Two attempts, three attempts. Ah, I see. We got a little bar going down underneath. Of course, it's going to take... Um, she needs to kick it. We, we all know there's only one way to fix electronics that's not doing exactly what you expect them to do, and that is to kick it. All right, let's have a look at this blueprint here. Dr. Rocketry. That's pretty good, but not what we want. Research good. Rocketry deck decorating we mm, that's pretty good but still not what we're after we we really wanted the uh the operator yeah no operating there that, that's a shame that's a shame I'm gonna make use of that glass though definitely oh and god i got a hat this is this is actually the main reason that i built it here because you know too many people didn't have hat, no ah oh, wait <laughs> There's a second step to this, just giving them points, not not good. There we go, get get the hat back on them. Anybody else not wearing a hat who should be wearing a hat? Let's go and have a look. There we go, he pulled it out of his um, pocket. Okay, great, good good work, Goddard, have, have fun. Okay, we are pumping uh, all these little bits of carbon dioxide, hopefully out to somewhere sensible. Okay, so this goes out to the main world where we are pumping it across and just, just out into the wilds, into vacuum where it gets destroyed. It shouldn't take us too long to deal with all this carbon dioxide, I hope. There's like two kilograms of oxygen in here, so it should be fine. 
okay, we've taken a fair bit of this carbon dioxide out. We've got no, like, five kilogram little blobs sitting around anymore. So I think with that, we're able to go crew over here. We're going to change our rocket destination to be... Uh, do, we, do, we, do we try here or here, or do we just sit there? I'm going to just sit there for now. We're waiting, of course, for Plank to come along. I, I, I hope he's going to be coming. Here, here he is, here he is. Plank making his... What, what's Goddard up to? Going to pick up a Gristleberry, the one that got dropped there. Okay, no problem. I was a little bit worried that Goddard was going to try and jump in here as well, because he's like, hey, I'm also a pilot. Okay, uh, cargo transfer is still ongoing. I don't really care about that. Let's just acknowledge those walkings, uh, warnings. Walkings? Yeah, okay. Uh, and leave. We are going to start flying our way out there and beginning the first of a serious exploration missions. Uh, th this is literally just going out to have a look. Why has this got left behind? That should be how much diamond we've got installed or something like that, right? I'm not sure exactly what, what it is, but uh, in interesting that it got left behind. Curie also just, you know, dealing with this giant cloud of steam that's threatening to engulf her in like 115 degrees or something like that. She's like, nah, I'm, I'm used to this. I'm used to this. All right, out to the star map. Basically, all we need to do now is just wait for a little bit of time for Plank to be able to position himself and then start using the telescope. I think the telescope should be, yeah, a higher priority. As you can see, it's on a 7 and the orbital collection, uh, orbital data collection lab is on a 5. Uh, as much as I would like to get some more data banks, getting the... Oh, let's see where you're going. Okay, so we're not in range at the moment to be able to use the telescope. It's not until we get to this next one in uh, one cycle exactly that we'll be able to do that. And now, staring at the bare, bare interior of this one, I, I kind of wish I had the blueprints mod. <laughs> Not a great deal different I want to build here. Um, okay, maybe uh, maybe this time we can jam the toilet up in the corner. Because we use the toilet very rarely. What, well, I don't have plastics, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, I don't have plastics. We got, oh, 30 kilo. Where's all my plastics? I bet I've sent them all through. Wait, we need to, we need to turn this off. <laughs> Yeah, only six and a half tons we sent through. I'm just gonna leave them here because we we keep making more more plastic on by accident as as we talk. So that's fine. Turns out putting the new rocket together is going to take a little bit of time. Thankfully, out on the star map, we have Plank out doing his work on the telescope. Let's have a look and see how long it's going to take for these. I, I don't know yet. I might just sit here and watch them spin around. Cycle 700, though. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, didn't realize we were quite so far through. This means I missed uh, cycle 690. Not, not nice. Not nice. Okay, we have found ourselves a new asteroid. This is what I am actually looking for. It says new planet toy detected two but i don't i don't think we have found two i think we've just found one so thank you for that one yeah it's the same one twice i i don't know what that's about space magma forest ocean bam that that is the one we were looking for one two three four mm, that's a distance away as well we might very well need to take that place over just as a staging post also look at these Okay, and we've uncovered some something else. Retired planetary excursion module. We've got an artifact. Okay, I think it's time to bring Plank home. Yeah, he started to do the work. So yeah, let, let's bring Plank home. He's not doing any telescope anymore. Give him a little bit of a top up of the uh, of the gases here, the steam. Incidentally, I changed the way it works because when um, when Plank left, the steam tried to back up and it got as far as a bridge and then just broke in the in the pipe. So I made it so that the uh, steam has somewhere to go, i.e. the other other rocket, and the uh, you know the oxygen can jump around weirdly. Talking of jumping around weirdly, whilst we take this moment to watch Goddard settle into Pyaxlin, I would like to take this moment to thank the people that make me want to jump around weirdly. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you see a list of names. These are the guys and girls that have taken the time out of their day and the money out of their wallets to go along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and making monthly donations to help me and my channel continue on into the future a lot more comfortably than my duplicates are. Well, it's taken much longer to put this bare bone system together than I thought it would. As you can see, we've got a room overlay, we've got a washroom, a barracks, and a mess hall. I've put the toilet at the top this time for radiation purposes. We're only coming through the toilets very, very rarely, so uh, we'll, we'll put the high radiation environment up there. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with these two little bits here. Obviously, we can put things in the toilets 
in, in the washroom, sorry, that will not conflict with the toilets here. Uh, and we've got this little space, but we don't really need to worry about any of that because of course we are just sending Gullard over with a couple of robots. I need a refrigerator right there. All right, beautiful. This should make everything good. We need to start thinking about some other things in here as well, like a power outlet fitting. I hope that can fit there. And we also need the gauss, the, the gauss, the gas outlet fitting. I don't think Gauss had anything to do with this. But I have noticed once again that I've been talking far too long and the little red bar at the bottom of your guys' screen is getting quite close to the end of the line there. You can... No, no, no. We never have people actually starving. I have sent um, Plank back out for another bit of a scavenge for materials, but also he went along and got himself an artifact transport module, bioluminescent rock. We've managed to pick up a bioluminescent rock. When are we going to be rocking back up in two Pyaxlin? Six. 0.6 cycles. It's 0.6 cycles. I, th I think we can wait for morning radiation. Oh no! Plank has been overexposed to radiation. I'm sure we can deal with that when he gets back. What? No rad pills? No rad pills. Do we have rad pills at home? We have rad pills at home. Okay, this is this is good. We can we can we can fix him when he lands, which hopefully ooh, this one over here. Hopefully, he shouldn't be too long. I hope he's gonna do the mop. It would be kind of nasty if he's not. No, okay, he's just he's gonna fly. Okay, good shout. <laughs> oh, he's done it again. That's that's a lot. Radiation is bad. It turns out. Okay, I mean, thankfully we are literally on our way back. Point three cycles. Half the time has already passed. I mean, can we just force him to toilet? So this this is what I was a little bit worried. Look look at this beam of radiation coming down and through here. Maybe if we could swap these guys around, that would work. Maybe. Okay, the background changed. That means we have probably come in for a landing. Let's have a look up here and see. Yes, we have come in. Okay, that's good. Ooh, little little rock being put down there. Let's put that. Okay, but more importantly, plank. Let's let's not get uh, Let's not get distracted with artifacts. You gonna you gonna eat well? It's not an instant fix, unfortunately. Once he eats it, he doesn't just get purged of a hundred rads. But thankfully, the hundred rads that the oh no plank, uh, the hundred rads that the pill will do, and the hundred rads from toilet should level him out. Should level him out. Are there radiation or germs in in that? I I don't know if that's something we've got to worry about. He just threw up everywhere. I I don't know. Oh what? Oh, there's floral scent. That's fine. That's fine. No germs inside, okay. But I think with that, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we're going to send these rover modules over to uh, this this planet over here, Blagola. Then we're going to go to Iragul and try and get ourselves some uh, some some poke crabs because they're, they're, that's an infinite source of line there. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.